Hey there YouTube, Veganomics here. So, um, I started following this guy on YouTube. He's like a 62, 62 year old guy. I was his 6,000th subscriber. And then literally in two days, he's gotten like 1,300 subscribers. He's blowing up right now. Let me tell you his name. A little change of the backdrop here now. We've got some green going on. His name is John Rose. Okay, 62 years old. And let me just show you, like, he's in some serious shape. He's, he's in, like, perfect shape. Just look at this guy's body, man. He's 62 years old. Hello, my name is John Rose, and in this video I'd like to take a closer look at what I normally eat in a day. Now, I don't normally eat at this time of day, so I can't show you what I'm eating right now, but I can at least tell you what I normally eat. I'm going to start off by explaining my salad. You just see this guy is, like, he's, he's crushing it, so, um... I don't know, I've been watching a few of his videos, um, he says he eats twice a day, so, um, he said he, at one point, was eating one time a day, but he says he eats between 25 and 3,500 calories, um, and you know, he, he really breaks down a lot of the science of a lot of the stuff, I'm just, uh, amazed listening to this guy, so, um, I went out and bought some things to make a salad, and so I bought some romaine, and then I picked some stuff from my own garden, so I'm going to show you what that is. I'm going to start eating salads again, guys, um, and I'm going to show you what's going in my my dinner salad. I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to do this for, the while, for a while and see how I feel. Instead of eating like a big rice or starch or potato or whatever uh, heavy dinner, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to, not like light at night, but like uh, you know, like a salad, just just a salad with maybe an avocado, some tomatoes, some lemon juice, um, some I bought some cucumbers. Uh, you know, it's been so long since I've had a salad. And the thing is, yeah, I know it's expensive. Everything I just bought, it was one bag for ten dollars. It was three uh, Hearts Organic Romaine, two cucumbers, two really big uh, tomatoes, and an avocado. All of that was ten bucks. So. I know, it's expensive, but I don't know. I'm not going to eat all the romaine. I'm probably going to eat two of the three or one and a half. and Whatever, I might big, make a big one and share it with Roxana. She's not home yet, but you know. Let's see what I'm going to eat tonight. I also, in the garden, I picked probably five or six or seven or eight leaves of uh, katuk. Uh, it's a perennial uh, leafy green. It tastes like, um, uh, what's it called? Like a green pea. Got some Okinawa spinach. This is that one that reminds me of Christmas, and it's got purple on the underside of its leaves. I picked some society garlic, and some garlic chives, and I picked some New Zealand spinach. So I'm just going to throw that in with my, my salad and show you what it looks like. So already I found a dead fly, a rock, and some other weird beetle crawling in the romaine. So like. I'm not like grossed out or anything because I washed it, but it's just like ugh, the hassle. <laughs> um, I like to sort of hand um, rip my romaine and put it in the salad that way. So yeah. All right. Next, I just threw in all the greens that I picked from the garden. The whole cucumber, big beefsteak tomato. Now. I'm starting to remember why I don't really eat salads, and it's because there are a lot of preparation for not a lot of calories. And now there's half of an avocado in there, I think it's at the bottom, but whatever. Alright, probably juice of half of a lime. Alright, I love chili powder, so I gotta throw some on here. And I'm gonna throw some of this Mrs. Dash Salt Free Original Blend uh, seasoning. This stuff is good, it's got a lot of, um, let's see, I'll just read it to you. Uh, Onion, spices, parsley, celery seed, basil, bay, marjoram, oregano, savory thyme, uh, cayenne pepper, coriander, cumin, mustard, rosemary, garlic, carrot, orange peel, tomato, lemon juice, powder, citric acid, oil, and lemon. So, a lot of good stuff in there. Alright, and I think that's it, I'm going to enjoy this. Alright, and that's my salad. Let's see. Mm. Mm. I love having a uh, citrus uh, juice as some sort of a uh, sauce for, you know, 
a salad, whatever it, whatever it might be. Grapefruit juice, um, lemon, orange. Mm, good. What? 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 Who are you? Who are you? This is a dog that um, my ah! wife my wife just found this morning. She found this dog. Uh, Roxanne, I found this dog. Um, I guess she found her kind of walking over here and just came over and she opened the gate and she came right in. So uh, we think, you know, either some, she had, see, she had a tag and Roxana called the number on the tag and the person said that that wasn't their dog. That, they, that their dog was sitting right in front of them and that wasn't their dog. So I don't know, something sounds fishy. Anyway, she smelled a little bit like poop, so I, I gave her a bath, and uh, here she is. Hello, she's so sweet. My dogs are getting along fine with her. They're right here. She's jumping up, she's so happy. She's just a little puppy. This looks like a bigger, like it's gonna be one of the, the bigger beagle breeds, so I don't know if it's 12 or 14 inch or whatever, but it looks like she's she's a bigger beagle. Um, yeah, I called Animal Rescue and they said they're gonna come out and test uh, to see if they can read a chip or if she has a chip. And uh, yeah, so we'll see from there. But yeah, I told them I didn't want her to go to, to a kill shelter though. But since she's a puppy, I doubt she would. But if they're gonna take her away and put her in a kill shelter, we'll just keep her till someone either says it's theirs or we can give her away or something. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Yes, you're a good girl. You, you smelled a little stinky so I gave you a bath and now you smell good. Yeah. Three amigos. Oh yeah. Oh, Chico doesn't want any of that. <laughs>